Welcome back to chapter 9.1, day 2, and today, a uh, relatively short video uh, talking about type 1 and type 2 errors. Well, when we draw a conclusion from a significance test, we hope our conclusion will be correct. In other words, when we say uh, that uh, we reject the null hypothesis, we hope, we hope we're right. Or when we say that we fail to reject the null hypothesis, uh, we hope we are right. But sometimes it'll be wrong. There are two types of mistakes that we can make. If we reject the null hypothesis, when the null is really true, we have committed a type 1 error. If we fail to reject the null, when the alternative is true, or I like to think about this instead of saying this, instead of saying this part right here, I'll say if we fail to reject the null, when the null is false, we have committed a type 2 error. Just another type way to display this. Uh, as a little uh, two-way table is if here's the truth about the population this is really what's true and this is our, our conclusion based on our sample so if I am through my sample data I reject the null when the null is really true that's a mistake that's a type 1 error if I fail to reject the null and the null is false, that's a type 2 error. Obviously, if I reject the null and the null really is false, hey, I've done my job and been correct. And if I fail to reject the null uh, and the null is true, again, I have a correct conclusion. So this is a really good table to help you remember uh, these things. But again, just remember type 1. Reject the null when the null is true. Type 2, fail to reject the null when the null is false. Well, the probability of a type 1 error of rejecting the null when the null is really true, uh, that's exactly the significance level of the test. That's that alpha that you set. And again, a lot of times we'll set that alpha to be 0 0.05. Uh, that's the most common uh, that we have. And that's kind of what we've been using in our uh, previous chapters, is that 5% significance level when determining uh, uh, statistical significance. Um, so again, that significance level, that significance level, whatever you set as alpha, uh, is, is the probability of a type 1 error. In other words, that alpha is the probability, if we set it at 0 0.05, we got a 5% probability that the test will reject the null hypothesis when the null hypothesis is actually true. So you need to consider those consequences of a type 1 error before choosing a significance level. So to see, you know, how much, what probability do we want, you know, what's the significance of uh, setting it at that level. Do we... Can we afford to put a little higher, Can we, or should we make it a little bit lower? And we'll look at that as we uh, progress through this chapter. So again, back to uh, the objectives. You should be able to state a null and an alternative hypothesis. Remember, null always has some form of equality or no difference. The alternative hypothesis will either have a less than, a greater than, or a not equals to. And again, these are one-sided. This is a two-sided significance test. The p-value, uh, that's uh, what we're going to use to determine uh, statistical significance. Uh, as we state in the next part here. And then you show a type 1 error, which is rejecting the null when it is true. And type 2, failing to reject the null uh, when it is false. All right. Well, at this point, we should be able to move on to your 
uh, homework and uh, day one and day two, uh, the problems one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, and fifteen, and then coming back picking up thirteen and seventeen, nineteen, twenty-one, and twenty-three. Good luck, and uh, may the stats be with you.